I hope you had a great weekend. It's Monday already. Today we are in lesson 24. I hope you're joining me with the lessons each week. And the title of this one is, What are Spiritual Gifts? And we're reading from Romans chapter 12, verses 4 through 6. Each of us has one body with many parts, and the parts do not all have the same purpose. So also we are many persons, but in Christ we are one body, and each part of the body belongs to all the other parts. We all have gifts. They differ according to the grace God has given to each of us. Do you have the gift of prophecy? Then use it according to the faith you have. So these verses are telling us that when we accept Jesus as our Savior, he has a special purpose for us to fulfill his plan. So if you look around in church at the different people, does everybody sing beautifully? No, right? Does everybody play the piano beautifully? Uh, no. I might be able to play Mary Had a Little Lamb, but that's about it. Uh, does everybody preach well? No, we don't want everybody just getting up and preaching, right? Because God has gifted each of us with different abilities. And it is his plan for us to use those abilities for his glory. Just like it says here in these verses that our bodies have lots of different parts to them, right? So you have a head, you have feet, you have legs and arms, hands. Now, what if those different body parts decided to mix themselves up and try to do something different than what they were planned for. So let's say your head said, I'm jealous. I want you to walk on me. Would you like to walk around on your head all day? No, right? That wouldn't work well. And in the same way, God has given each of us gifts and talents that we can use for his glory. And we need to focus on using those instead of on somebody else's gift or talent. Okay, we're going to be talking more about that in the next few days, so I look forward to doing this with you. I love the fact that God has gifted each of us with different abilities that we can use to honor him. Let's pray together. Thank you, Father, for your gifting in our lives, and as we study the gifts that you have given and the ways that you use us, help us, Lord, to understand that you have a special plan for each of our lives, and that plan includes using those gifts to be able to reach others for you. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you guys tomorrow.